Welcome back. <clears throat> As predicted, it did not take long before I have to make another video. Uh, Alex Newhook is now a member of the Montreal Canadiens. So what's being reported is that because Dubois is likely headed for the Kings, the Montreal Canadiens wanted to address their issues down the middle of the ice. They feel Newhook is the answer, or at least part of the answer. Now, Alex Newhook is a very talented player. He's a restricted free agent, so Montreal does have to work out an extension with him. Played 82 games last season, 14 goals, 16 assists, 30 points. He's one of those players that shows you enough, often enough, that you say there's a lot here and there's a lot of upside, but he also has those very quiet periods as well. So for Newhook, a guy that I've been bullish on for a while, but I kind of understand this from Colorado's perspective. They do need some, some cap relief, and they do a pretty good job of getting some assets back. So going the other way, Gianni Fairbrother who missed the entire season this past year with a knee injury. So he's 22 years of age. So, you know, if he can rehab from that knee injury and if he can come in and play, who knows? Maybe Colorado gets a steal there. But 2023, they have a first-round pick now. Colorado, a team that I don't think had very many draft picks at all. I seem to remember them having like two. But now they have the number 31 pick, and they also get the number 37 pick in this year's draft. So if, if you're the Colorado Avalanche, you could take those two picks now and try to move up. You could take both picks and keep them and make your picks there. Uh, this is supposed to be a deep draft. That's what all the scouts are saying. So either way, Colorado picks up a couple of assets in this that may very well be uh, NHL players for them within the next few years. And they do so at the expense of Newhook. This could mean that they're ready to re-sign Comfer. This could also mean that on July the 1st, they go out and find somebody else. Or maybe this is just the first in what will be a couple of deals or a few deals by the Avs. But I like what the Avs did here. I think they got good value for Newhook, again, a restricted free agent, without him signing an extension with Montreal first. I don't dislike what Montreal does here either. I think there's enough upside with Newhook. I think it, it warrants the cost. Keep in mind, Montreal's been building up prospects, prospects, prospects. They've added so many draft picks and prospects over the last few years. They can afford to do this. So I like the trade for both teams. I'm giving a bit of an edge to the former Nordiques, the current Colorado Avalanche. So wearing the reverse retro for this. Because it's always interesting when Colorado and Montreal deal because it used to be the Nordiques. But let me know your thoughts. Who do you think won this trade? In the comment section below, let me know. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.